Hi, this is Galik Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week, I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier, and happier place for you. And I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. Today, the quote of the day is, how we treat ourselves is how we treat those around us. Now, this uh, is a sentence, it's not really a quote, but it is really a truth. Most often, we get it backwards. How we treat others is how they treat us. And this is also true, but where does it begin? It all begins by how we treat ourselves. This is then how we will treat those around us, who will in turn treat us back as we treat them. Now the basis to living in harmony in this life is first and foremost living in harmony with yourself. And this is such a simple truth, but most of us really reverse it and we think that it is how we treat others that influences the way we see ourselves. But it is just mirroring the real way we treat ourselves. I will give you a few examples. So if we are critical of ourselves, then people around us may feel that they need to stand up to our standards and may feel like they are failures for not doing so. And they will in turn become critical of us. Now, if we are unhappy with ourselves, then we will be unhappy with other people's behaviors. And they in turn will feel judged around us and they will feel a lot of expectation and judgment in our presence. And in turn, they will in self-defense judge and criticize us back. Now, if we feel that we deserve the best, then others will feel worthy around us and will let us feel worthy back. And if we love and accept ourselves, then others will feel the same way around us and they will emit love and acceptance back to us. And if we feel forgiving towards ourselves, then others will feel accepted as they are and will want to be in our company. And naturally, they will be more forgiving towards us and our behaviors at times. And if we are patient with ourselves, then we will have patience for other people and listen to them. And they will feel good in our presence and have more patience for us when we will need it. If we feel insecure with ourselves, then others will also feel a sense of insecurity around us, which may trigger feelings of codependency or a victim mentality. And this may lead them back to behave to us in a hurtful way. Now, in psychology, it is known that you can only love another the same, in the same measure that you love yourself because we will treat others in the same way we treat ourselves internally and externally. Now, our surroundings will always be a mirror of how we truly believe we are and basically a mirror of our internal self and what is going on inside us and how we treat ourselves internally. Now, one thing that took me time to understand is that people want to be loved and want to feel appreciated. So if you are not appreciating yourself and you're stating your strengths in, in front of other people, you don't need to be shy about your strengths. Actually, you need to, you can show them freely. They are your strengths and you are allowed to be strong. Then uh, you may not be able to give your partner uh, the compliments and emotional needs that they seek if you're not giving it to yourself. You can't be bad and harsh on yourself and then be kind to another person. You will be harsh on other people as well. You are what you are everywhere that you go and with anyone that you have contact. So all change in your environment starts therefore with internal change in yourself. And this is why you have to take time to take care of yourself daily. You have to eat a healthy diet, exercise daily. Even walking daily is great for your mind and your body. Also remember to meditate. Uh, treat yourself kindly by respecting your time as well. You can say no. It is an important step towards self-care. When you can't fit in something and you, you just want to please someone, you have to learn to say no. And so is taking the time to be grateful for the simple things that you have in your life. Now, the coronavirus lockdown uh, period taught us that it is the simple things in life that are really the most valuable. 
And when we find ourselves in a full-fledged rat race, day-to-day -day life always on the run with all of the demands that we have on our time and on ourself, then we will become demanding and irritable to all of those around us, which can be very harmful to our relationships. And when you treat yourself, on the other hand, with patience, kindness, forgiveness, love, and gratitude, then you will find yourself in similar relationships. And you will also see how the world suddenly has your back, so to speak. People will be more helpful and caring towards you, making your life more harmonious as time goes by. Now, when you learn to really love yourself, to really love and, expect and accept all parts of yourself, then people will feel the love radiating from you and will feel uplifted in your mere presence and they will naturally be less critical towards you. Now to do this, we have to get rid of the negative feelings that we have towards ourselves that have built up over time. Negative feelings can include guilt, and this is a terrible one, anger, and even fear of how we may behave at times. So to get rid of these negative feelings, we have to forgive ourselves and accept ourselves as we are. Now, how do we do this? Well, I'll tell you what I did. I remember being in the lowest time of my life. I was poor, I had no money, I had no love. Well, I had very little money and I had no love at the time, that's how I felt. Uh, no family to support me and I had to care for my two daughters with their mental disability. And as much as I love them, it is, all giving relationship with little receiving back so you're really working 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 no time for yourself and I hated myself at the time and I really felt unworthy of anything good uh, because I was having these guilt feelings that I created this situation as I said I married my first cousin my first um, marriage was to my first cousin and that's why we had um, to uh, um, disabled children and I was had these guilt feelings so I had negativity all around me really in my life and I was in the lowest point and the way I got out of this mess was first and foremost there were many things that I did but first and foremost was learning to love myself intentionally I decided to change the way I felt about myself as soon as I learned that the effects of loving yourself has on your life so I started every day by looking at myself in the mirror and saying I love myself I love myself over and over again and I did this with a forced smile in the beginning I forced myself to smile when I said it even though I was feeling really bad but later uh, this forced smile turned into a real smile and I really began to love and appreciate myself. That's all it really took. Talking to myself and re repeating this over and over again. And I stopped being so violent towards myself. I would also imagine myself being cradled like this in loving arms. Um, uh, as if I was like a baby getting all of the love that I needed. Now, we know that in the doctor's oath, you state, uh, uh, Hippocrates said, first do no harm. But how many times are we harmful towards ourself? This affects all of our relationships around us and the quality of our relationships determines the quality of our life. And this also includes, of course, our relationship with ourself. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a quick question that you want to ask yourself so that your answer will help move your life to a better place. So the question of the day is, where in my life am I not being accepting towards myself enough? And where in my life am I, can I be more loving and accepting towards myself. So where in my life can I be more loving and accepting towards myself? Now go out and care for yourself in this area. It could be your health, the foods you eat, your sleep patterns, your fun, your friends, your job, your uh, marriage, your, or your physical activity levels. In which area can you really be more loving and forgiving towards yourself? 
Now, as usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer in a notebook that you have, especially for these coaching sessions, so that you can look over them from time to time and see how you are improving your life. Now, the affirmation of the day is simple. It is, I love myself. I accept myself as I am. I love myself and accept myself as I am. Now, tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because with repetition, just simple repetition, the affirmation has the power to completely change your life. It changes your consciousness and then you think and behave differently and you move towards a happier, better life for you. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel for these kinds of videos every day and a, a, a health and wellness video once a week. Uh, and please visit my website at thegorilladiet.com for books and any information for natural living, natural, ha happy and healthy living. Thank you very much for joining.